So data science is essentially uh, understanding data and uh, uh, building necessary mathematical models in order to um, kind of do some uh, classifications or predictions. Okay. For example, in financial domain, whenever a transaction comes into your system, you need to first uh, analyze it and say and classify uh, whether it's fraudulent or not fraudulent. And if it is fraudulent, you want to flag it up. You want to flag it and contact the customer and whatever you want to do, right? So the classification of fraudulent versus non-fraudulent is a machine learning problem, and it's a data data science problem, okay? And similarly, I mean, we have emails. Every one of us have emails, and there is also notion of spam messages, right? So back in the days. Uh, those spam messages used to come into our inbox, whether it's some uh, African person, Nigerian person trying to make uh, some transaction or uh, some other thing. There's so many spam messages that we have seen, right? They used to come in our inbox, but as uh, spam filters became more and more mature, we hardly see spam in our inbox nowadays. Actually, uh, sometimes even the useful messages will uh, go into inbox. That's another extreme. But uh, uh, the point is, these spam filters are essentially doing machine learning, which is again like a data science, right? You are analyzing all the emails from all the people everywhere in that particular uh, company, and uh, you are classifying whether a particular uh, email is spam or not spam. Okay, that's a classification problem, which is again uh, relevant to data science. So, uh, so given all these examples, you can kind of see what data science is, right? Essentially, data science is about understanding data and extracting meaningful and actionable data uh, information uh, from that raw data sets. Okay. And even for data science, you can uh, kind of come up with many examples, right? Take Google, for example. Uh, we use it every day. Uh, and what is Google, essentially? You type in a search query in a basic terms. You type in a search query, and you get uh, relevant results back. OK? Do you think it is data science? Actually, let, let's see. Do you think it's uh, data science, whatever we are doing uh, on Google? for searching. What, what do you think? Uh, is it data science or not data science? And so if you think about it, I mean, back in the days when Google uh, first started, even before Google, there was a search engine called uh, Alta Vista, right? Uh, I don't know if you guys heard about it. I'm sure some of you heard about it. Uh, so when Alta Vista was there, which is actually the first search engine uh, in the internet uh, space, um, what they did, they simply indexed um, each web page. Okay, if I if I have ten different web pages in my system, I simply index uh, the terms. So the term uh, sales appear in my document one, document five, and document ten. And and sign uh, and the another term, let's say uh, BJP, appears in document five and document seven. Okay, they simply indexed, and depending on the query, they simply looked at in which of the documents the word occurred, the query word, and then simply retrieved those documents. Okay, that was a search engine that they had. But then after that. Uh, uh, these two people came along, uh, Surgery Brin and uh, Larry Page. They said, um, okay, search is not just that. Actually, there's something more to it, okay? Uh, not just the content, but also the link information between the pages also makes sense, okay? Um, that's their observation about the data. So the intuition is that if many web pages are pointing to a particular web page, then probably that um, uh, the pointed web page is probably important, and that's why they are all referring to it. 
okay so that means the link structure is also kind of giving you some uh, relevant information in deciding which page is uh, kind of more useful for a particular query than the other okay and around this intuition they build something called as page rank um, uh, and then they use uh, that page ranking mechanism to kind of rank uh, different web pages in the system okay that's essentially data science because you're analyzing the data in order to get a meaningful information of uh, different ranking and you are able to act upon that meaningful information by uh, showing the results in a rank ordered manner okay that's actually a perfect example of a data science even though it's not called as data science back then but it is uh, exactly data science okay so whatever amazon did uh, again in 90s when they built uh, Amazon.com and built a recommendation engine, that's also exactly data science, even though it's not called as data science. So data science is not something new that came up out of the blue. It's just there, but uh, people have given uh, a sexy name to it. That's all. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's what, I mean, that's all uh, part of data science. Essentially, you are trying to uh, extract meaningful and actionable information from the data okay and obviously as the big data is there uh, in terms of volume variety and uh, velocity uh, the challenge is to create a big data solution uh, that can kind of facilitate uh, this data science okay if you have lots of data obviously you need systems to store manage and analyze it or if you have let's say Twitter, then uh, there the data science challenge is to how do I uh, do analysis in that uh, very, very fast, fast paced manner. Okay. And similarly, if you have variety of the data, then uh, your data science challenge is to uh, how do I extract meaningful information from these diverse uh, formats of the data and then um, uh, make some conclusions. Okay, uh, Atul, uh, I will be getting into R very shortly, but uh, it's just not R basics. It's uh, to just understand what R is and stuff like that at a very high level. So even if you miss, uh, uh, it's okay. You can always go through the video later on. And in the next class, which is tomorrow's class, we are going to spend completely our time on R. Okay, so yeah, if you have any urgent matter to attend, please go ahead and uh, we'll meet tomorrow. Okay, great. Bye, good to have you. Okay, and um, so if you remember in the initial uh, um, uh, when the class just started, uh, I told um, no one knows what exactly a data scientist is supposed to do, right? And this is exactly why I said that, because data science has uh, flavors of multiple components, okay? It has flavors of statistics, it has flavors of data engineering, it has flavors of visualization and advanced computing, and it also has flavors of the domain expertise. Okay, so depending on where you fit, the role of a data scientist can be completely different. Okay, if you are a statistician, your role as a data scientist may be different from a person who has data engineering background, which is more like uh, uh, the back end processing. Okay, just to kind of give you a more um, uh, intuition on that aspect. So, someone, I think some CEO of uh, some web 2.0 company uh, mentioned uh, that data scientist role is like the webmaster role in the 90s, okay, when the internet uh, just started coming, okay. Uh, back then, when the internet is just coming up, uh, people are new to web services, right. 
every company is trying to uh, devise some web, uh, or design some kind of a web service that is uh, useful for their customers. Okay, but they didn't have a clue as to how to build such a web service. Okay, and that's where they uh, created the role of webmaster. Okay, or web administrator. Uh, and that web administrator is supposed to solve all the problems related to designing web services, whether it's a front end or whether it's a back end or the communication between the front end and the back end. Okay, web administrator is uh, supposed to understand all of that. So, webmaster was the magic bullet uh, for solving all the problems related to designing web services. And over the time, obviously that's not the right way to operate and over the time as people understood more about the web services, there are different uh, roles uh, carved out uh, within the space, right? There are like front end engineers who design UIs and there are uh, like network engineers who design the network back end uh, for communicating uh, between the front end and the back end and there is also uh, like database specialists or depending on what backend they use, there are specific people who manage the backend, okay? And similarly, fast forward uh, 20 years or 15 years, and now we suddenly have this new role of data scientist, okay? And just like the webmaster in 90s, data scientist is supposed to understand everything about the data, not just understand, uh, deal with every challenge that we discussed about the data, okay? Like he should understand, at least that's the expectation of data scientist as of uh, today. He's supposed to understand how the data is stored in the backend, how do we manage it in the Hadoop cluster, and then how do we analyze using machine learning statistics, and ultimately how do I visualize so that I can present it to my uh, top level management, okay? So all these aspects are expected to be uh, uh, understood by a data scientist, okay? So he's like the jack of all trades. Um, but over the time, as the data science field gets more and more mature, uh, probably there will be different uh, roles carved out within this uh, particular data science field, okay? Uh, but but the point that I'm trying to make is uh, uh, data science is essentially a confluence of uh, many components and uh, uh, as of today we don't have a clue what exactly the role of data scientist uh, should be. So if you are trying to enter data scientist uh, today then I strongly recommend you to kind of get some knowledge from each of these components, okay? If you are already working in, let's say, data warehousing, then you know about data engineering and some bit about advanced computing. Then you will go ahead and learn a little bit more about the statistics and uh, uh, machine learning and maybe some visualization, okay? Or if you are working as a, uh, let's say, BI person who creates reports, who visualizes reports every day and day, day in, day out, then you want to get some knowledge about data engineering, which is the back-end processing, as well as uh, some statistics, okay? Or if you are a machine learning expert or a core mathematical statistician, then you need to understand or you need to learn about uh, system aspects like data engineering and advanced computing, okay? Or if you are a domain expertise, which is like a functional person, then you need to understand all these uh, other components in order to become a good data scientist, okay? So that's why I said uh, if you are, if you want to enter the field of data science as of today, then uh, it's a good idea to kind of get uh, some exposure in each of these uh, components, okay? Does that make sense? Exactly. Aruna says, uh, I believe it is unrealistic uh, unrealistic to have one person called data scientist with all the attributes. Uh, that's absolutely true, but 
uh, that's what you expect. If you see any um, data scientist role uh, job posting, you will have a lot of these things, right? Uh, you are supposed to understand the Hadoop platform, Cassandra, or whatever that is of their interest, which is related to data engineering and advanced computing. And also they'll say, oh, you need to understand uh, classification models or recommendation engines and stuff like that, which is about statistics. Uh, and depending on the company, they might also ask you about visualization aspect as well. Okay, but I understand totally your point is absolutely valid. And probably over the time, we will figure out um, uh, what the individual roles are going to be. Uh, exactly, Aruna. And as you are saying, so she says that uh, uh, data science, so I can understand data science team which has group of people with different attributes uh, to fulfill the requirement. Absolutely. Hopefully uh, that's how it's going to be in the future. And uh, if you look at like big companies like Google and uh, IBM or Facebook, all these companies actually hire a lot of people, right? Google hire economists. Google right, hires uh, sociologists. So these are all like different uh, uh, people, expertise in different backgrounds and hopefully they I mean, I don't know inside Google, but I hope they're all working together to uh, solve uh, the issues, right? So Arun says, uh, how the data science career would be for a non-data science expert, okay? Um, I don't know how to answer that question. So what do you mean by um, how the career would be. So as I mentioned, uh, depending on which of these components that you're currently working in, it's a good idea to kind of get exposure of the other components. Um, but otherwise, I don't really understand the specific question. Uh, maybe you can expand on that question, or if you want, uh, I can unmute you and 